Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will make a simple 2D practice drawing with AutoCAD. So before starting this drawing, make sure that you are in drafting and annotation workspace. So here is the drafting and annotation workspace. If you are not in drafting and annotation, then click on this drop down and change to drafting and annotation. You can also switch to drafting and annotation by clicking on this gear icon on the status toggle and changing drafting and annotation from here. So once you are in drafting and annotation workspace, go to this draw panel and select this rectangle command. Now click anywhere in the drawing area to start this command and type at on command line. Then enter a length of 42 units, enter comma and a height of 70 units and press enter. So when you type at 42 comma 70, it will give this rectangle a length of 42 and height of 70 units. So this rectangle may be of very small or very large size depending upon the limits of your drawing area. So double click your scroll button or middle mouse button and it will completely fit inside your drawing area and then you can zoom in and zoom out to fit it according to your requirement. Now let's go to this line command again and click at this top right corner of this rectangle. So this endpoint or snap will appear. So click here and move your cursor upwards. Now enter a length of 16 units and press enter. Now move your cursor towards right and enter a length of 130 units and press enter again. Now press enter again to exit this command. Again go to this line command and now start this line from this corner point of rectangle and again enter a length of 16 units and press enter. Move your cursor towards right and enter a length of 108 units and press enter again. So here's the second line, now press enter again to exit this. Now again go to line command and this time select this midpoint from this line and move your cursor towards left and enter a length of 34 units. So type 34 and press enter. Now move your cursor downwards and click at this intersection point. Now we will make a fillet around this corner. So for making a fillet, go to this fillet command and now move on to this radius and enter a radius value of 4.5 and press enter. Now click at this line and then at this line and this will add a radius of 4.5 units to both these lines. Now select all these geometries and then go to this mirror command on modify panel. Now click at the center of this rectangle and now click at the second midpoint and press enter. So this will make a mirror image of this geometry on the other side as well. Now again go to this line command Click at this midpoint and now drag your cursor towards right and enter a length of 44 units and press enter. So this line will act as a reference line for us. Move on to this circle command and now we'll insert some circles to this drawing. So the first circle which we'll insert in this drawing will be the circle at this point. So go to this midpoint and enter a circle of radius 16 units and press enter. Now again go to this circle command and click at this point and make a circle with radius equals to 16 unit again. So here we have these two circles. Now you don't need to make one more circle which we want to make here. You can copy this circle directly at this point. So for that go to this copy command, select the circle, press enter. Now click at this center point, drag your cursor towards right and enter a length of 64 units and press enter. So this will make a circle at a distance of 64 units from the initial circle. Now we can delete this reference line. We don't need it anymore. Now we need to make two tangent lines which touch both these circles at this point and this point as well. So for that, go to this line command. Now press and hold shift key and then right click. So this will bring a contextual menu. From this contextual menu, select tangent. And now click on this circle. Again, press shift and hold it. Then right click and select tangent again and click on this circle here. So here we have a tangent line. You can repeat the process of making this tangent for this side as well, but I'll make a mirror image of this. So select this line, click on mirror. Now click at this midpoint of circle or the center point of the circle and click at the second center point, press enter and a new mirror image will be created. Now we need to add a few more circles to this geometry. So for that, go to circle command again and make a circle with radius 22 units at this point. So click at this point 
enter 22 and press enter. We need to enter one more circle at this point, but for that you don't need to go to circle command, directly press enter and the circle command will be repeated again. Now click at this point and enter a radius of 12.5 units and press enter. So here we have both these circles. Now move to the circle again and click on this small arrow and it will show all the circles which you can make. So here we have a two point circle. Select this two point circle and now click at this end point of the line. Now drag your cursor directly upwards and enter a length of 24 units. So this will make a circle with a diameter of 24 units from this point and now we need to join both these circles with a line so let's select line shift and hold right click and then go to tangent from this contextual menu now click at this circle and now we need to join this line with this circle at a tangential point so for that press and hold shift key then right click go to tangent and again click on the circle so here we have these two circles joining tangentially we need to add a fillet at this point. So for that, go to fillet and enter a radius of 76 units. So go to radius and enter 76, press enter. Now select this line and select the circle. And here we have this fillet. So now we have almost made this drawing. We need to enter few final details. So one of the detail is a circle here. So for that, we need to first create the center point we don't know where the center point is and we only have some reference lines. So go to this line, click at this midpoint and now make a line with length equals to 12 unit toward right. So type 12, press enter. Now move upwards and enter a length of 21 units and press enter again. So now this end point of line will act as a center for our circle. So now go to this circle, fly out, click on this center radius circle and click at this end point and now make a circle with radius 5.5 units and press enter. Now we don't need both these reference lines, you can delete them. Now select the circle which we have created, go to mirror command and now click at this midpoint and then click at this midpoint and press enter. So this will make a mirror image of the initial circle. Now all we need to do is trim extra portions. So for that go to this trim command from modify, press enter. Don't forget to press this enter key after selecting trim and now click at this line and this one as well. Then click on this one and click on this arc as well. We need to clean this part as well. So click here, then here and here. And now press escape and here we have this complete geometry. So we have used multiple draw and modify commands to make this geometry. So if you have any questions related to that, let me know in the comment below and don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching.